admirals. Feeling unsure and confused about where and how to start your first voyage? This beginner's guide to uncharted water's origin is here to help. Let's dive right into the second chapter of the guide. As mentioned before, you must have experience in combat, trade, and adventure to level up. Among all, combat is the fastest way to level up. Defeat pirates in battle to gain experience, do cats, trade goods, and more. There is auto combat, where the battle is conducted automatically, and manual combat, where you must control the battle manually. Check out the combat guide from the options for more details on how battles are carried out. Strategically use the four skills of duel, melee, artillery, and ramming to win your battles. Next, we have trade. Trades are quests that can help you get currency the fastest. You can make profits by buying cheap trade goods and selling them for a high price. You can get more profit if you sell your trade goods at ports that are far away from where you bought them. Also, each city's specialties can be sold at other regions for higher prices compared to other trade goods. So try selling each city's specialties at other cities. There are also peak seasons and low seasons for trade goods. Trade goods at peak season are marked with a green ribbon, and you can buy more of them during these times. Trade goods at low season are marked with a red ribbon, and you can buy less of them during these times. Depending on a mate's skills, you can apply buffs such as bargaining, increasing purchase trade goods, decreasing purchase prices, and increasing selling prices. So, choose the right mates for your ship and increase your profits. Lastly, we have Adventure. With Adventure, you can discover new regions, explore terrains, and collect discoveries. You can earn blue gems or ducats for your discoveries. With Adventure, you can find landmarks and admire the beautiful scenery of various regions. Visit the item shops at ports to buy bedrolls and exploration tools before you start your adventures. Bedrolls are compulsory, but exploration tools aren't. But they do affect how successful your adventure is, so make sure you choose your tools carefully. If you dock your ship near land and press adventure, you can get the ship parts available in that region. You can then report your discoveries and expand your collection. That's the end of our guide's second chapter. The third chapter will look in more detail at leveling up.